Great food always makes people happy. One of the best parts of my day was coming home and taking the first bite of delicious food. As a kid, I would always go to Buffalo Wild Wings after sports games. The wings would always taste so good and like they were cooked perfectly. They'd be crispy and not too soggy, while also feeling like they were fresh. I would try to replicate this at home, but it would never work out. I've tried frozen wings from the grocery stores and pre-made ones and also cooking them on the grill. None of this worked out. They would either taste like they were not fresh, they would be soggy, or they would just not taste the same because they were cooked different. That is until I learned how to cook them a new way at home and they taste just as good. I can save money, have more food, and not have to go out. What you're gonna need is a pot, oil, your wings, and then whatever sauces you would like. Your first step is to boil water. You need to get a big pan or big pot, put it on the stove and put the stove on medium to high. You're gonna fill this pot up three fourths of the way and wait until the water is boiling. While this is boiling, you're gonna wash your chicken. You turn on the sink and rinse off the chicken and then pat it off with paper towels. You are then gonna put your chicken in the boiling water for 10 to 12 minutes. You will then warm up oil, the two thirds of another pot on medium high for 10 to 12 minutes. You'll keep this oil there and then you'll put your chicken over into this pan of oil and let it sit there for 10 minutes. While you are doing all that, you are going to need four eggs and flour and dry seasoning. You are going to put this all in a Tupperware container and then you will mix it all around. When your wings are done cooking, you will take it out and you will rub it around in your dry sauce, your dry seasoning. While when you are done with this, you are going to get another pan and put your wet sauces in them. I prefer to have mild or mango habanero, but you can choose whatever you want because that is the beauty of making it at home. You're gonna take one wing and stick it in there and then move the pot around. You're gonna shake it where the wing rolls over in the sauces. You are then going to do that with every single one of your wings. At the end of this, you will have at least 20 perfectly good and bigger and better tasting wings than your favorite restaurant. This in all takes about 20 minutes to make, not including going to the store to get ingredients. The reason that this is better is because it is cheap, it is filling, there is more food, and you can make literally any type of wing that you would like. All of these sound good to me. What about you? The next step is to invite friends or get drinks and sit down to enjoy your dinner or lunch, whatever you decided to make the wings for. The next benefit of making these wings is that you have a lot of food for a lot cheaper. This enables you to have leftovers the next day. For half the price of going and getting a dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings, you will be able to have two days worth of chicken wings that taste just as good. Even though I still go to Buffalo Wild Wings on occasion as when I'm done with something or as a treat, I believe that this is the better way and it always helps me to make my chicken wings at home without spending too much money and also being able to enjoy quality food. If you guys remember the steps and you apply it to your home cooking life, you'll be able to make chicken wings at home that are just as delicious as the restaurants. You will be able to stop wasting money, barely getting enough food, and being not happy with your results when you try to make chicken wings at home previously. Thank you very much and I hope you will apply this to your own life.